Hi guys! Uh, so I'm going to be giving you 10 of my tips for a very happy, positive life. So number one, uh, very simple, it is, I'm just going to be looking at my phone for these, is to look at things positively. When you're 90 and you've looked at everything in your life negatively, will you be truly happy? I don't think so. So I look at every situation and assess the negative and the positive, and usually the positive will outweigh because it will make you feel better at the end of the day. Um, and also, why live your life negatively? Um, so that's my first, suggest first suggestion for a happy life, and I use that one every day. Sometimes it's hard, but you just gotta keep on trying to use it. The second one is uh, to surround yourself with people that you like. Sounds pretty obvious. People don't usually do it though. Uh, if you are friends with people that really get you, they really understand the core person that you really are, then you'll have someone to talk to when you need to talk and just generally great people to talk to all the time. If you surround your people with people that are negative or they just don't really care, you won't have that like backbone to rely on when you need something. Surround yourself with people you like, uh, that way you won't be embarrassed to talk to them, you won't be embarrassed about your likes, and other things like that. The third one is have a job that you love versus a job that makes a lot of money. So I've had the opportunity to have jobs where I make a lot of money, but instead I choose jobs that I love, where you wake up and it doesn't feel like you're going to work, it feels like you're going to hang out with friends and you're going to do something you love and you're going to do something productive. Uh, so that's why I'm in school for events. Uh, not the best money maker, but it's something I absolutely love and I know I'm going to enjoy 50 years from now. Number four is listen to happy music if you're in a sad mood. This one helps me out all the time, especially when I'm stressed, sad, have bad anxiety, whatever. Because uh, if you listen to songs like, all by myself, don't want to be all by myself anymore, that'll just make you more sad. Come on. So instead, the thing we get, happy pop music, and I love country, but pop is like the best thing to just get you like pumped up, ready for the day, in a positive mood, so like, especially in one direction, so like, Baby, you light up my world like nobody else The way that you flip your hair gets me over from But when you smile at the ground, it ain't hard to tell Like, that's just gonna put you in a good mood And if it doesn't, I don't know what to suggest Because that always puts me in a good mood Okay, number five Is to list off three things that you uh, love about yourself every day So I try to do one social, one physical, and one emotional every single day and some days I'll have be really proud of how I handle things emotionally so I'll have two emotionals but try to stick that's how I, I always do like the three things that I love about myself that day um, I usually do it in the morning and then again right before I go to sleep um, doing it in the morning just kind of gives you that self-worth it gives you the self-esteem to go throughout the day and you know positive and stuff uh, so for today let's see my social uh, aspect is I really like uh, the way that I interact with my groups at school. We really get along, we're working on our project really well, and stuff like that. Uh, my physical uh, for today, I really like the way my lips are looking, and I just really enjoy them. That's what I do. But I love the way they look. So, yeah. And my one emotional is. Uh, just being able to handle my emotions uh, when I have had some rough situations this week and just being able to compose myself until I get home so I can handle them a little bit better uh, instead of totally breaking down in class because that's not great. Um, okay, number six is to look at like photos and videos and stuff from like when you were really happy uh, so like I look at photos and videos from this summer because I really miss my family and friends because I don't live in the same city as them anymore I live like a few hours away uh, so that just makes me really happy to look at like we went to this concert or we went to the lake or we worked together or we went to the zoo or 
Whatever we did this summer, just being able to look at the pictures and stuff really back brings back some really good memories. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a big, happy, good blink. Yeah. Number seven is to talk to friends. Sounds pretty simple, but it really helps. Uh, especially now, like I have friends here, but they're all pretty much from school, so you can't really vent to them a lot about stuff that happened at school because they were there. Uh, so I Skype uh, a couple of my friends back home, and it just helps me like release all of the bad tension and energy and lets me become the positive person that I normally am. And it also just kind of brings me back to earth. So when I'm in a really bad mood or I'm really stressed out about my midterms coming up or whatever because I just finished those, I can call my friend and talk to them and they'll help me bring me back down to the down to earth person that I am. And also family. Skyping and talking, talking to family really helps. So number eight is to wear clothing that makes you feel good about yourself. So whether that's a t-shirt and sweats out on a normal day, or like me, I love dressing up. And a lot of people say I dress up too much, but that just makes me feel really good about myself all the time. I'm not really dressed up today because I have my mustache shirt on, but most days. Um, I like wearing dresses and skirts. As soon as it turns to spring, I'll be wearing a ton of them. And I'm very, very excited, but they just make me feel so good about myself. So wear what makes you feel great about yourself versus what people are telling you to wear. Number nine. is to go by the old saying, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. It kind of goes along with that whole like, kill them with kindness. Um, if you're a positive person, you'll attract more positive people. Uh, if you're a negative person, the positive people generally push away. But if you're a very positive person, they seem to really get drawn to you. It's kind of like a magnet. So whenever I'm positive, I find that if I'm meeting a new group of people and I'm positive, the positive people within the group kind of generate towards me. And that just makes me feel really good. And now I have more positive people in my life that help me stay positive as well. So yeah. Number, we're all the way up to is that belting out music really helps with any emotion. So if I'm really angry at someone, I'll listen to like some Nicki Minaj or something and just like belt it out. I feel really bad for my neighbors, <laughs> but I love it. And if I'm in a really happy mood, singing out like Kelly Clarkson or Jesse McCartney, love. Um, or like the old Hillary Duff, I don't know, something about like music from my childhood just makes me feel so much better when I'm in a really positive mood, just to stay positive, and stuff like that. So, yeah. so that's my 10 tips, uh, thanks for watching, I don't know if it's really that exciting, um, but that's kind of the 10 things that I try to remember on a daily basis to stay happy and positive. Yeah, I really thank you guys for watching, and if you liked it, click like and subscribe, and then if you really like my videos, which I'm really hoping you do, make sure to check out uh, all my other media outlets. So I have Peek, my blog, Instagram, Twitter, feed, and all the links will be down below. Just go check them out. You never know what you could find. They're all really, really good times and fun. And I'm just babbling. But thank you for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic day. And I will talk to you later. One direction below. I'm gonna see them in July. Woo! Hope you guys are having a fantabulous day. What was that accent? I don't know. Uh, 
have a good day. Bad day. I'm having walking like this today. And I'm singing everything. Cause I'm